Hello, my name is Brian Sieber and I'm the Director of Vulnerability Research at Bastille. I'd like to talk to you about vulnerable wireless building control systems. These are the sorts of systems that generally people don't interact with and aren't actually aware they're operating in their building. So we're talking about lighting control systems, we're talking about HVAC and other utility and power monitoring and control systems that essentially help modern buildings run. Often this new infrastructure comes radio enabled, which means that they actually have a radio interface in the product, in the device, that will power up when you plug it in and have it working within your infrastructure, which can often be critical. These radio devices often use protocols that won't commonly be on the radar of your IT professionals. So they might be looking at securing the Wi-Fi infrastructure, but if there's some building control system that uses Zigbee, for instance, they might not be aware that it has not been configured and needs to be configured so that it's actually completely secure and you reduce your potential radio attack surface. There have been many examples that we've actually found where there are chillers in data centers, for example, that are Zigbee enabled and are beaconing looking for a partner to connect to and potentially configure the device. So that's obviously something that you would not want to happen at least not in an unauthorized fashion. Everything will be connected, especially through the internet. And as soon as you've got that notion of two different networks being bridged through some hub, there's the threat and the potential vulnerability where if there's a protocol on the control side that has not been vetted, has not received the public scrutiny that other protocols have, there will be inevitable vulnerabilities and we see this over and over again. So an attacker would be able to then penetrate your internal corporate network or your inter internal internet by actually pivoting from, say, the Zigbee network that's broadcasting from a chiller or from a internet-enabled light bulb through onto your corporate network. And that essentially bypasses all of the traditional security mechanisms that you have on your wide and wireless networks. And this will continue to be a problem as more and more products come onto the market that have not received the appropriate level of scrutiny uh, as traditional security devices and networks have. Thanks very much for listening. If you'd like to learn more, please visit our website.